Vintage News presents. Hey guys, Rocky again. It's been a while since we've seen this beast. This is why what is termed Barry's Amiga 500 Plus. Now, a long time ago, I made a video about saying this is the first. This very one was the first Amiga I ever played. This is my friend Barry's and his big brother Charlie's. And years later, his mum sold the contents of his, of their attic, and in it was that. What you see in front of you. So I got it back. Floppies, games, the lot, exactly as I remember it. Now, it's been in a cupboard for a couple of years, so I thought we'd have a quick look at it again. Now, this machine has something a little different in it. So I'm just going to fire the power. And we'll see it load here. So, there's your Kickstart ROM. It's... 37.175 but if I hit control alt delete flip this little switch might not have done it fast enough I have to, I have to uh, nope nope good meditation no, I didn't do it fast enough so if I just reset it again I'll be fine there you go workbench 1.3 so what you do is you little switch that's there we go. I'll just see if I can make a shot here. A little switch here, so if I just switch it, reset the machine, we should be back to. There we go. So I thought we'd take a quick look inside it, because I have never actually opened this machine, I've been dying to. So power off, obviously, safety first. Unplug it. Now, I'm not being any idiot, I've already taken out the screws. They're all the uh, safety screws, so I'll use the Torx bit. So, there we have it. Dust. Lots of dust, dust, dust. Of course, what I'm really interested in, what you're all interested in, is where this little cable goes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the camera and I'm going to take the heat shield off and we'll have a look. And there we have it. Naked in all her glory. So, let's see how much closer I can get in here. Because I know what you're, you're all interested in. It's taped to the motherboard using what I think is 20 year old double sided It's taped to the motherboard using half a disc label ripped. So I'm not sure if my mate Barry and his brother bought it like this or Charlie, who was really into electronics at the time, did this himself. So there's the 3.175, the 37175, and there's the 1.3. So, uh, see it fits into the ROM slot. So, let's see what else we've got. Let's... Obviously there's a lot of dust. This is a thing that's been opened in a long time. Which of course leads me to the other thing everybody will be interested in. This is an AA motherboard. And let's see how close I can get in on the battery. Because I know that's what you're all wanting to see. Oh, that's not so great. I'll just zoom out and I'll take the camera off this tripod. So, freestyle mode here. Uh-huh. Corrosion. Not too bad, actually. It's not too bad at all. I'll clean all that off, obviously. I'll clean it all off. Um, but there you go, see? Wall star, one point A, half an old floppy disk label, blue one at that, and that is just stuck on like so. Brilliant. I'm thinking this is something Charlie would have done himself because I very much doubt a company would have paid. I'm having to do that. So now she does work. 
and I'm going about to demonstrate that in a second. So bear with me again guys, jump cut coming up. And we're back, sorry about the lighting, it's just decided to bucket down with rain outside. So I've given the motherboard an inside of dusting with some spray air. I've cleaned off all the corrosion of the battery for the time being. But I haven't yet quite decided what I'm going to do, whether I'm going to take it out totally, replace it with another one. So I thought we'd just test it, got a disc here. Um, I've connected up the old Shimano external disc drive, they used to use this back in the day a lot. This noise brings back a lot of memories, it's very strange actually, it feels like feels like it's early 90s again for me actually. Now some games don't always work when booting from the external and I think this is one of them. So I'll put it in primary. Come on, baby. Here we go. Uh, Magic Land does the F1. So I'm in really in two minds what to do, because I want to keep it as original as I remember as possible, but obviously having a switch hanging at the bottom is not ideal. So I need to think what I'm going to do about that. I'll just wait for this to load. I do have the original mouse and um, which little all that stuff, but at the moment I'm using my one of my later mouse. So there you go, there's Magic Land Dizzy. Which is an awesomely great game. What else have we got in this pile of discs here? Workbench disc. Right, so there you go, guys. That was, or this is, quote unquote, Barry's Amiga 500 Plus. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.